yeah, Paul talks about that. Um, that you know, should we sin all the more so the grace may increase? You know, I'm absolutely not. I tend to think that when we understand grace in the context of our own sin and failures, we don't have a heart to uh, abuse it. You, you know, but by nature, by as sinners, we we all abuse it. I mean, we all continue. Yeah, you know, he pays off the debt, and we continue to spend. I, you know, we. It, it, it continues to be a, a struggle. I think the real danger is when you um, don't care about that. It, you you are going on your spending spree, racking up the debt, and it, it you know your heart is heart and you're callous. One of the ways I say this to people is, you know, it's the difference between whether or not sin is on the calendar or or I mean, if you've scheduled sin, like if you know you're going to do it today and you kind of have the the time picked out, or or you know this week you. You know how you're going to respond to someone. If if you've kind of pre-decided it, then that's a lot different than than struggling with something. And it should it should get our attention. It, it should kind of be a red flag for us that that we're taking taking God's grace for um, for granted. Uh, so you know, I think it's a struggle, and and maybe that's okay to sometimes to keep that in check to to kind of examine our lives and make sure we're not taking God's grace for granted. Uh, the Bible says that God's kindness leads us to repentance. As we spend time thinking through and focusing on God's uh, gracious kindness towards us, it, it leads us to have a more repentant spirit, to have the right soft heart, I think.